Hey folks, um I know uh you now you all know that I haven't posted a video in a while, but this time you only know why I'm actually gonna have a chance not to uh to kind of vote on the subject involved. So, I got the feeling like I was sort of idling, like I was shooting, you might say. Um, then I remember, hey, the LPs aren't the only thing that I do! Um, so I decided to so I just a video or three. And, uh, so here we are. Now, I know the voiceover video is, is sort of a new format because because before I was because before uh, when I was doing when I was doing the other videos I wasn't able to have both the voiceover and the uh, this the game video being recorded but now I can now am I gonna stick with this way I don't know Let's, I want to see what y'all think I also figured that this would you know talking like this would give me a good chance to play through that intro so y'all could hear it because this screen pack is phenomenal I mean it could be better but. It's really good, and I don't know if you know the reason why I use it, but uh, if you've seen the sheer number of characters that I have, there, at least at the time that I found this screen pack, there literally was not another screen pack large enough to handle this many, to handle this, the number of characters that I have. Just did not exist. I would, I would frankly be surprised if it did even now. I, you know. It could, but I'd be surprised. <laughs> um, actually, if one of my sort of, you know, you know, you know how you have a, a short list of, of, of things? Well, on my long list of projects is uh, to, to create uh, a, a version, my own version of this screen pack, uh, probably themed toward Marvel vs. Capcom 2, or perhaps even 3. Now the 3's out. <laughs> yes. I want a copy. Of course, first I have to get a PlayStation 3, but, you know, such is life. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, re I, I would like to create my own version of this. And, and The cool thing about this is uh, EVE Battle, EVE, Everything versus Everything, you've seen that on the title screen, um, is that it is sort of customizable, not... Uh, it is very easy to insert Particularly, it's very easy to insert custom category names, and, and frankly, I'd say the way that it was mo the way that it was um, the way that it's constructed pretty much forced them to do that, and I'm really glad they did. Um, and they also provided the uh, the font that they use. I'll show you what I mean here. The, these categories here. Your heroes. Capcom, JoJo, a lot of those did not come stock. A lot of them were not even included as options, you know, because they made it very easy to create your own by um, by including a full line of the font that they use, which was really nice. So, you know, it was really easy to create my own. Um, if you want one of these times, I'll kind of explain what, uh, I'll explain what, what all the categories really are in more detail uh, than, than, you know, seven or eight characters allows. Um, so, let's get back to where we were with uh, Thunder Todd and Naughty Motto, and we'd actually uh, uh, drawn their final, their final, uh, what you call it, I guess, round robin opponents, or something like that. So, Sorry, I just realized I didn't have my usual uh, method of uh, generating the random numbers that I used for, the, for their palettes, so I'm going to have to fake it a little bit. It's not a big deal. Uh, let's see, so it was the model. There you go, Mar. Whoops! No, 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 that's wrong. 
Try that again. Team mode. Here we go. Left your heroes. Then we go back here and uh, let's see. Bring on this big guy. No. Where is he? This big guy. Here we go. Yeah, I live on spreadsheets for any of you who may not have known. <laughs> Alright, and their opponents. Oh, let's go back to there. Alright, so gonna be two people from Mortal Kombat. And here. Uh, no, I said I'm from Mortal Kombat. Alright, went the wrong way. <laughs> there we are, Kitana! Shiva. This uh, being MK2 Katana, and obviously Shiva didn't show up until until uh, MK3. And I can never, I can almost never remember who wrote any given uh, any given character. So I'll have to find those out and post them. I'll probably just post them in the description so I'm doing the voiceover bit here. Wow, give him credit for uh, not just letting Tom roll over him. Oh, that was a great counter. I don't know if anybody had noticed. Uh, no, there's actually a special effect that for some reason isn't showing up uh, in the uh, current movie version. I'll have to look into that at some point. Maybe the author already has it. But uh, there's actually a special effect, uh, sort of pillar effect around him. I don't know if you've noticed, but when you throw that, not only is it a... a Fairly effective attack, but also heals him. Doesn't heal his partner, just him. I mean, this version of the of, of Zero, or excuse me, Omega, is intentionally overpowered. I mean, he's meant to be like super. You know, he's meant to be a major super boss, like secret boss sort. Okay, well, that punched their ticket. Which means that now... <laughs> we get some other interesting action. Somebody from another pair who previously did so. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and, for the sake of ease, keep them on the same side. There we got three. And. Eight. Not everybody has 12 pallets, but just in case they do, I do that. Okay, so now we're going down here. I don't see, he's over putting the mini boss section. There you are. And... let's see. There we go. Okay, now we need... to go back here. Select your heroes. Pick him up. See what happens, huh? Listen, you mother! Welcome back to the stage of history. Green Joe is badly overpowered. 
because he has ridiculous numbers, or he has a ridiculous number of hit points. He's also able to throw Saros really more often than he ought to. That's not as big a problem. Yeah, talk about hit inflation. <laughs> I say hit inflation, I mean just a single attack doing ridiculous numbers of, uh, of hits, which isn't really an issue, it's all about how much damage it does most of the time. Now it looks like he's able to, uh, kind of keep Tav, what's the word, uh, under control, I guess you might say, by keeping him stun locked. Just like that. Of course, I didn't see how much power he used for it, so it might not have been that ridiculous. Look at that. Select your heroes. Well now. Moving on. Let's see here. Uh, where is he? Uh oh well, wrong guy first. Over here. Not there, here. There we go. Shall call. Then let's see, he let's see, his partner is right here, I think. Partner. There we go. Now what I ought to do. Six, three, eight. Which I think I can do. I can just do that calculation, do a count sheet safely. Alright, so. These two gave, people, gave some people some trouble if you look back at the videos. <laughs> Not least by virtue of the mousers just being difficult to hit by a lot of people. Fault. And of Shao Kahn being generally overpowered, but you know, he's a boss, what do you want? As he doubles it off. Oh boy, that hurts. <laughs> Is that your bad? 
best. <laughs> Is that your best? No, actually, it's not. That's how they coded the uh, transition. Man. I mean, it, it breaks a little bit when you got when you got a team match going on, but. Pretty good, you know, they got the whole... Oh, what? Did he just nuke both at the same time? Brutal. Select your heroes. Wow, look at that, would ya? Oh boy, it's Broly time. Let's see, I gotta get her out. There she is. And that bad temper, Mojo. Totally just showed immunity to Lucero. That's not right. Ooh, interrupted. That hurts. No, that one didn't happen. Uh-oh, he powered up. Really, they have enough cheese to him to take to take Grimjaw down. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna take Grimjaw down on pure cheese. Oh yeah. You're not a Cossack, bro. Like, quit acting like it. Grimjaw is doing everything in his power to make Kurokishi a, a non-factor. Unfortunately, he's not doing that great a job. Okay, okay, not that off. 
<laughs> Denied. Man, it's weird. It's like it's hitting him, but it's not doing any damage. something there, I'm not sure what it is. Okay, Grim Jazz looping now. Uh-oh. Unfortunately, they're gonna do jack against Broly. Seriously, Broly, unstick. I wonder if Necromancer would allow me to use these sprites and create, create a version of Broly that functions a lot like in the Disney in the Rokai Tenkaichi series. Okay, seriously, come on, man. Well, at least Broly did something. There we go, right, now at least we got Grinja out of this. Ah, Broly's active again, finally. Ooh, Ninja's doing some damage. For some reason, I wonder why it is that Sero doesn't damage him. There must be some property that Broly's somehow immune to, maybe like... Oh, I think he's typically immune to projectiles. It might well be Clash as a projectile. Physical hits are doing some damage. If only he'd, uh... If only he'd resurrect. Unfortunately, I don't know that this... I don't know... I don't think this version of the character has it because it looks long. Which is sad because him having it is pretty... pretty epic, but... The other version of the character just... didn't... Didn't quite work, you know what I mean? I mean, it, it worked. He, he functioned reasonably well. Just there was something wrong about it. Now oh, that was long enough. Jeez. Uh, 
Alright, well, well that answers will. that question. Uh, let's see, does he... Okay, there's nobody... There's no opponent waiting for him, so we'll just do this. And... Get on with life. Time for new people. Yay for new people. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Ooh. I forget that guy's name, but he's interesting. Kenji, ooh, Jun Ho, fun time. Ooh, Vega? Nice! Watch some of the combos he throws together. That's right, in more recent versions his AI got yanked somehow. Not you know, like not like to lobotomy levels, but bad enough to notice. Bad enough that he doesn't do very well anymore, sadly. Pull some pretty keen counterattacks, though. Oh, you did not! That was some epic teamwork. Junhun finishes finishes his combo and Kenji starts his. That was awesome! Love seeing that! Uh, yeah, let's go one more. Okay, so we had let's see, he's from KLF 2K. Got his name. Kinsel. Ooh. That's an interesting way to open. So we actually got three KOF types in here. <laughs> I 
I cannot remember where Kenji is from, if I, but I remember reading. I remember reading like developer commentary on him, and I remember him saying something like they are trying to make a Donovan sort of character. He is, he is extremely complicated to learn. And it's so, there's just so many options that you can do, but if you can manage to to master a good chunk of this stuff, he's absolutely deadly. <laughs> Nicely done. Nimu Kanyo. Wow. Select your heroes. All right then. Well, I think that's good enough for tonight. I'll try and do, uh... I think I'll do a couple... I might do a couple tomorrow. We'll have to see. But until then, folks... <laughs> <laughs>